Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Yeah, really. It's 6.43 and change as we head into this Thursday. It is the fourth day of January, fourth day of 2024. We've got ourselves a, a chilly start to the day today. Really, I mean, it's cold, but typically uh, cold for this time of the year. So for January, we haven't had it too bad, but we are going to be seeing a pretty tough storm system head our way next Tuesday. A lot of wind out there, not expecting anything severe, but we might see a bit of snow along with a lot of rain. That's next week. We'll worry about that then. No rain or snow expected today, though. And we are seeing a little bit of sunshine. At least we will once the sun is up. Sun's not rising until after 7 o'clock, but that's our Bill Morgan roofing camera there at the Hampton Inn in downtown Owensboro looking out toward the east and got some breaks out there. And if we could just get some breaks along the horizon, and, and have a lot of clouds aloft. We could have a spectacular sunrise if you see a good one. And I was looking outside a few minutes ago, and it looked like it's going to shape up pretty well here in the Evansville area. Anyway, Austin Homes camera down in Central City. I was down in Central City yesterday speaking to the Lions Club. A very enjoyable talk. Great group of people there. And then I hit Stellions on, <laughs> and Coffee Central on the way home on Broad Street. That's a great place. Both of those places are great. Anyway, you can see the strip in Henderson there from our Heads Construction Tower cam shot. Looking a little great up to the northwest, so and over downtown Evansville as well. But that's our spear drag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now, the temperature 34 degrees. Got a northwest wind at three miles an hour. So, yeah, a bit of a breeze out there, but not a big one for most of us, though. So no measurable wind chill here in town. Let's see, how low can we go temperature-wise? 30 in Jasper is as low as I see. 31 in Princeton, 32 degrees in Fordsville. It's 33 in Calhoun, 34 degrees in Owensboro, 35, 35, 35. Don't see a 35. It was 35 in Carmi. Uh, not long ago, last hour, and now it's down to 32. It's dropped three degrees. Uh, there we're seeing some breaks in the clouds, and that's allowing some locations to drop a little bit temperature-wise. Uh, wind speed-wise, a lot of calms out there. Threes, you can see that. Five in Calhoun, a little bit of a wind chill there. Seven in Vincennes, so there's a wind chill there in Vincennes. Feels like 28. Uh, feels like 31 in Calhoun. So we're talking about uh, wind chills for some of us, not many of us, that are a little below the freezing mark. So pretty much what you see is what you get. Beautiful sunrise yesterday. This was in the morning. You can see a little bit of frost on the ground yesterday, too. That's down in Bremen in Muhlenberg County. Speaking of Muhlenberg County, Jeff Ford got that wonderful shot. That sky just a blaze in orange. I love it, Jeff. Thank you so much for that. Well, we counted down the top 10 funky fruits of 2023 before Christmas. Now we're showing you some of the funky fruits that just missed the cut. In three, two, one, funky. Today's funky fruit is Happy Mater. Look at the big old smile on that dude right there. Even looks like his tongue's kind of sticking out a little bit. He got a couple of nostrils kind of sideways. <laughs> anyway, he got a couple of eyes there too. He looks like he's a happy mater, no doubt about that. He's probably thinking, man, I get to be a BLT here pretty soon. Uh, Mark Coombs is the one that sent that one in. I mean, there's not too many sandwiches better than a fresh tomato BLT. A uh, BLTA is good too with the avocado. Lifers warning Doppler radar showing a few false returns, no real returns. You're seeing more breaks in the clouds. High pressure's building in. It's dry descending air, and it should break up a lot of these clouds as we go through the morning into the afternoon. Really by the afternoon, I think a good dose of vitamin D and sunshine. Future Tracker not really handling the clouds we have out there right now. It hasn't been doing that really all week long. So anyway, as we roll into the evening, we are going to see a few more clouds. Definitely more clouds in play for our Friday. We're going to get some sunshine too. It should be dry during the day, but the rain's going to move in. Looks like now a little earlier than previous runs of this computer guidance, and we're going to be noticing the rain pretty much pushing in not long after the sun goes down here in Evansville. And I think we might see it late afternoon, right before the sun sets. And the sun is setting about 445 Evansville time, uh, west of the Wabash. But again, you know, the rain's going to be moving in tomorrow night. And really, it's going to taper off by tomorrow, I should say, by Saturday morning around daybreak. We could see quite a bit of rain, especially down to the south, and even mixed with some snow, especially north of the Ohio. And even at times, it might just be straight snow from Vincennes all the way over there to Lagodi along US 50. It might be coming down at a decent clip. It's just going to be piling up maybe a little bit on the grass, I'm not expecting anything more than that then that system's off the board again by daybreak on saturday so not looking too bad for the weekend mainly dry dry today for sure 42 degrees for a high so a little chillier than yesterday in fact by five degrees it's gonna be chillier with a north northeast wind at around five to ten miles an hour on the seven day forecast temperatures are staying in the low 40s uh, for the rest of the week. So uh, get used to that. And then we'll be seeing the chance of rain creep in tomorrow night into Saturday morning in particular. Doesn't look like it's going to be a big rain, but again, at the tail end, we might see it mixed with a little bit of uh, snow. And then as we head into really most of the weekend, it's going to be fairly dry. Slight chance of rain on Sunday. Here comes a bigger st system, storm system, but nothing severe is expected Monday night and throughout the day on Tuesday. Very windy on Tuesday. We could see winds upwards of 50 miles an hour. That is tropical storm force and yep. well over yep. tropical yep. storm force yes. winds. So 
Not looking too great on Tuesday of next week, but looks pretty good today. Today is the fourth day of January. Yes. It is spaghetti day. Yeah. If there is one thing I could eat every day of my life for the rest really? of my life, spaghetti would be it. And popcorn. Did you have it last night? And popcorn, absolutely, yes. Yeah, did What's you it? have it last night? Did you have it last night at Sis's? Spaghetti night, no, I didn't, because I ate, I ate at Central City. I ate oh. late. Hey, still Italian, you're good. Um, I'm yeah. telling you, but I did get a salad, but it's like, she offered oh. me to, you know, I could take go it. Go get some, get some leftovers from um, I might go get some leftovers from get Kara. get it ready. All right. <laughs> it's also National Trivia Day. Here's Ooh. a bit of trivia that might amaze you. All right. Okay. Uh, you know that people use ear earbuds. You guys do those? Mm -hmm. No. That can increase the bacteria in your ear by 700 times. So well, I don't do 700%. it. 700 percent. Thank didn't hear you what for you that. Said, what? <laughs> you got bacteria in your ear. Probably you're right. We wear it all the time. We always have the earpieces in. So <laughs> anyway, that's trivia day. It's also uh, World Braille Day. So there oh, you go. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. So there you go. All kinds of cool have things. Have you ever seen the Braille typewriter? Yeah, those are neat. Yeah, those, those are really, really neat. neat. Those are yeah, cool. Absolutely. Yep.